In this video, we are going to look at a way of visualizing outcomes from a set of probability events. A sample space shows us all the possible outcomes of one or more events. A sample space diagram is a useful way to look at multiple probability outcomes and can be utilized alongside the OR addition rule of probability. There are three ways of presenting this. The first is as a list, the second is in a table, or third as a tree diagram. Here we will focus on lists and tables, but if you want to learn more about tree diagrams, watch this video. Consider a standard dice. When rolled once, the sample space for this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Any of these outcomes are possible. Now imagine yourself at a restaurant where you have the choice of turkey, beef or pasta for main, with the option of chips, salad or vegetables on the side. We can list the outcomes for this as there are only nine, but we can also present them in a table like this. This form of sample space diagram is very useful, especially if you have to answer probability questions based on two events. For example, with two dice, we could set up a table like this and then use it to answer multiple questions. Let's have a look at an example. What's the probability of rolling two dice and getting any two odd numbers? Pause the video here if you would like to have a go at working it out yourself. Firstly, we should draw the required sample space. We can then highlight the outcomes which match the question. There are nine crossover points, so nine outcomes that work for us. Because there are 36 possible outcomes, our answer is 9 over 36, simplified to 1 quarter. Now have a go at this different example. What's the probability that the sum of two dice rolls is greater than 7? Pause the video and resume when ready. Again, we can use this sample space, this time to list the sum of outcomes of the two events. When we add in the sum values and highlight the answers larger than 7, we can see that there are 15 outcomes that work. 15 out of 36 potential outcomes leaves us with the probability 5 over 12 when simplified. These outcomes are of course entirely theoretical. Theoretical probability is what we expect to happen, whereas experimental probability is what actually happens when we test the situation. Generally, the more we try, the closer the experimental probability gets to the value of the theoretical probability. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.